Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Today is the 14th of April. It's about uh, 7.50 a.m. So we're uh, waking up to a positive day on the market, looking at those futures, looking good. You know, yesterday, you know, I did that picture. You know, I just thought, you know, we were in a little bit, and now we we're going to come in a little bit. Not much, but, you know, yesterday was a good day to kind of accumulate on this downside. Today we got the futures up about 300 points, S&P looking good, uh, let's see, gold, eh, whatever, you know, might make that run for 1800, we'll see what happens, silver, you know, okay, the same thing, um, crude, you know, that's where I think you have better returns in general because that's what makes the world go around. So let's look at the markets yesterday, so you know, that was them, not really a bloodbath at all, you know, that's calm, that's stability. And that shows me that we've hit bottom, people. I was the first to call it on the channel. Go back to the 23rd, the 22nd, you know, the 24th. I called it. I bought everything. And I made plenty of money, you know. So all the people who will call me a clown in chat rooms and this and that. Well, I made money, you did it. And I made a lot of it, buddy, okay? And people. So, you know, in a way, you could go fuck yourself. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is, you know. So, um... His European markets, you know, looking good. His Asia, you know, we're up. Uh, let's look at your foreign exchange. There you go. Here's your rates. All right, and here is crypto. So, you know, looking good overall. You know, so um, yeah, Bitcoin a little bit under seven. You know, markets go up. It's over seven today, so you could get long it. Today's going to be a good day. And uh, like I said, I think the worst is behind us. The worst is behind us. That's it. And the TVX people who love it, you're wrong. Buy it, please. Just buy it. Because I want you to lose your money now. Because, you know, people who keep thinking that's like your savior, just lose your fucking money. I really don't care anymore about that. You know, it's like people just think like that's their savior. It's not a savior. It's only fear. And there's no fear in the market. So... You know, so here's the futures, you know, look at that, like a triple top, lower high, lower high, lower high, but futures mean nothing. These are people just trading right now, you know, if you're not buying the minis right now, then this really means nothing to you. You know, it's just kind of giving you an indication that eh, we're going to be up today, I guess you could say, but everything changes during the day, you know, you could go down just as fast. So, it was the 23rd, so hey, right here's where I bought it, you know, I, I made money right here. I was loading the boat, everything, every sector, every industry, stocks I don't even talk about in this channel, you know, the ones I talk about in the channel, they're just things you'll find wherever, you know, and then like I said, I have my private stocks, you know, and that, I'll work out another day, another time, I'll see how long the channel is running for, um, you know, there's only so much, like I say, I could do and dedicate to this now, and, you know, just, I don't know if it's worth my time or not worth my time, you know, I'll just take it day by day and see, but... You know, right here, I did very well, you know. Here's where we're going to come down to when we retrace. Remember, these levels, that's it. You know, your low, your retracement is going to be right around here. That's it. You're not going down here, okay? And remember, go to those videos and see what I said right on this day, okay? And that's where I made a lot of my money, a lot. So, um, moving on, here's our earnings on the day. So, JP Morgan came out. You know, remember the earnings game, people. It's already expected. We're not tanking on earnings. We're just not. People know what's going to happen with the earnings. And it's just, it is what it is. And people know it. I've been doing this game for about a little over 20 years. I know how they walk earnings down. I know how they meet it. And then they beat it. And like I said, if it's a certain industry or sector, they're going to be punished individually, not the market as a whole. So just get that thought process out of your head. I was an institutional trader, and I know the market. Most people aren't, you know? Just stock jockeys. They do this, they do that, and they don't know anything. They don't know their ass from the elbow. So, um, you know, here's what we got for today. So these are your earnings. You know, some came out, you know, and they're going to be just fine, you know. Yeah, so, you know, just going to earnings whispers. Like I say, this stuff is all free. You know, take a look at them. I'm not going to break it down. I don't want to put too much time into this today. So um, here's these. You got it. And uh, here's after hours. So, you know, when the market starts getting... 
too top heavy and you're not finding good buys anymore, you know, here's your earnings. This is what you want to be trading because these are where you'll get your, you know, 10% spikes, 6% spikes, maybe more, maybe less. But, you know, if the market starts going up and up and once we get back to that level, you know, stocks just aren't going to be as volatile where it gives you that difference to make the money, the spreads anymore. So, you know, earnings is where you're going to be looking for that volatility long short so moving on coronavirus we got uh, about two million now u.s of course we're number one of course china's down here you know china i saw there was some article about cell phones about 1.2 million cell phones are no longer in use huh so what does that mean maybe 1.2 million people died you know who knows you know they had it c circling around in november and probably even longer like we thought initially march was our time you know and it was here probably in january you know, I think I actually got Corona back in January. I got sick. Then I got sick again in February on the 18th. And then they had to give me a Z pack. And my body is strong. I never needed a Z pack. This was the first time in my life I took a Z pack. I was out for five days. And I had all the symptoms, you know? And they said it was influenza. And then um, I have two doctors. So one said, oh, um, it was impossible. You know, you didn't get it. And then my other doctor says, yeah, Brian, you probably already had it. So. You know, huh? you know, hey, I'm, I'm good because I like to go out. I go food shopping. I walk in. I don't wear a mask. I don't wear gloves. You know, I go into my grocery. I see people wearing the gloves, the mask. And, you know, they probably give me a look like, hmm, who's this guy? Does he have corona? And it's like, you know, I don't really care what you think. I don't care what you do. My body's strong. I feed it apple cider vinegar. I treat it good, you know. Um, and that's just what I do. You know, I keep my body very healthy. And, uh, you know, I do see now they say, oh, you could get it again. You know, you're not building up the antibodies, maybe, and people, you know, South Korea, they had a second wave of it on people recovered. Uh, China, I see, they had a spike now in the coronavirus. They got 130 new cases, and they claim it's from travelers that came into China. So, uh, you know, we'll just be monitoring it, but I don't expect this to get any much worse. We know it's here now. It's here to stay. We're going to come up with vaccines. We're going to do things, and we're going to overcome it like anything else we have. The Fed pumping money into this is good. It does. If they didn't, we'd go down. The short sellers are pissed because they want the market to go down, and the Fed ain't going to let that happen. And they do this time and time again. Go back to 2008 and the financial collapse, okay? And they did this for many years, and I was doing it professionally, and I saw it. You don't fight the Fed. You want to fight the Fed? Good luck, buddy. Short everything and buy the TVX, please. <laughs> That's all I got to say to you. So you want to go here? The link's in there. I'm not going to get too much in here. Uh, let's just blow up this chart real quick for Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, there we go. You know, looking good. As, uh, you know, I think this is good today. Market's up. This is going up. So there you have it. Uh, let's go into these. So let's just view all. Just take a look. Actually, you could just kind of keep it on. Uh, this is fine. Ah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Yeah, you know, so here's your cryptos, people. You know, so, um, yeah, that's it. You know, you got Coin Market Cap, go into it. You can see everything that's there. You know what I like? Just go to Show More and you'll see everything that you'd want to see. And uh, there's the Grin, you know, not really doing anything, but, you know, it's good. Beam, same thing, but. You know, you could get better returns than other ones, I guess, for right now. But you want things that are going to be surefire? That's surefire, people. So, um, let's take a look over here. Uh, yeah, here's the TVIX for all these TVIX jockeys and fans. Oh, look at that. Looks like we're going to break 200 today. And that's to the upside, to the downside. So, uh, that's for all the fools thinking this is gold. It's not. It's nothing good, and I don't even, I shouldn't even say gold, because gold doesn't mean much nowadays, you know, just thinking it's going to make you money, because it's not, it's not, not, not. Fight me all you want, you guys probably own it all over here, hoping and praying, wishing on a star, keep wishing, buddy. Well, people, females, guys, you know, I hear from both ends, you know, with the TVX and stuff. Square, you know, that's a good one, you want to make money, there you have it. And uh, Lake, yeah, look at that, caught a bid yesterday, I said yesterday it was down, you know, that was a good trade right there, and there you have it, it's up 11% off that, you know, so that was a good day trade, you know, for people who took advantage of that. Um, IPR, you got Grocery Outlet, yeah, I mean, you got good stocks I've been giving you, you know, so if you've been following them, you know, look at Roku beautiful yesterday beautiful 
You know, now we're up over 100 strong. We're going back to those highs, baby. Back to those highs. Let me just get Roku up because that was very, very beautiful. Look at that. So we're going back up to the 140 level. Get ready. I, I told you already. You know, people think we're going down and testing lows. Good luck. Short it, please. That's all I got to say. You know, just short it. We'll see who's right, you know. And I mean, you could short it intraday, you know. But, you know, these are people who want to be bears and bears and negative and negative And, you know, hey, it must suck to go through life so negative every day. You know, you wake up and I wonder what your life is like, you know. You probably want to see more deaths from coronavirus. You want to see no cure. You want to see, like people go bankrupt you want to see america fail you want to see the world economies fail you want to see i don't know what you want to see and peter schiff blaming gold and this and that and it's great in the fed you guys are just doom and gloom i don't like people like you i just don't you know just doom and gloom and wishing for the worse you know that's a real shit way to go through life you know dollar tree you got your airlines rebounding you got your cruises rebounding you know so just, uh, you know, stay your course, people. Stick with your game plan. Don't go into chat rooms and Facebook and what's the game plan for today? Oh, is tomorrow going to be red or green? Is tomorrow going to... Nobody knows. Nobody knows. They don't know. Me, when I was in my trading firm, I didn't know. You know, the day came in and then I took it as it came to me. And I made the money for my clientele. All right? And, and that's just how it was. And that's just how it is. And that's how it's going to be. Okay? So when you go looking for these rookies and all these, like, stock groups and this and that, you got a lot of people that don't know their ass from their elbow. They really don't. They just... And if you ask what stock uh, should I buy, remember, what what's a penny stock and this and that? Number one, I don't really even like penny stocks. But, you know, these people are looking for advice. And it's like, these people are just going to give you what they're already in and losing money in most likely. And the f next thing is, I see people posting account values. Like, wow, how stupid of people. You know, I come from an era where we don't disclose what we have. We don't show our balances. We don't show, you know, the actual money we're trading with. And I just see, oh, here, I made this this week. You know, people are like trying to brag and show what they have. And, mo and that's like, wow, ignorance to the, like, 100th degree. You know, I just don't understand it, you know? People want to show their balances and this and that and act like, I don't know, they got a lot of money, they have a little money. Just remember, there's always someone bigger than you and got more than you and, you know, they don't have to display it, you know? So, uh, you know, earnings season is here. Looks like we're going to have a great trading day. So, um, I thank you for everybody who's been watching, uh, Tom, May, and uh, other people. You know, I just see the comments in there. Um, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, my following and my followers and, um, you know, it's 8.03. Thank you and have a profitable trading day.